What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Athena Luenas. So for today's video, I brought you guys a super easy, super glam prom makeup look. Um, just because my last makeup look was more of a neutral look, I kind of wanted to keep a balance and give you guys kind of a wide variety. So I just added this glam one here on my channel. This look can definitely go with any dress, whether it's a dress you want to kind of spice up or a dress that already has a lot going on and you just want to add more to it. It definitely goes both ways. I am super in love with how it turned out. The glitter, the purple, just everything about it just screams, you know, elegance. I love the nude lip, the gloss on top, like everything. Once again, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So for today's palette, we're going to go ahead and take out our Morphe 9C. This used to be one of my favorite palettes. Um, it's so colorful. Let me go ahead and open it up for you guys. So this is what it looks like. Um, it is very rainbowish. This is a really playful palette. I like to call it my playful palette. Taking a simple Morphe blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my transition shade. We're going to use pink. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this light pink right here. Build this shade up to the way that I want it. Working that up all the way in our crease because this will act as the base for the rest of the eyeshadow shade. Now going in with this purple shade right here and work this color into the outer part of my eyelid as well as a little into my crease. I like to pat on the product first just so I know how buildable it can get and then I start to blend. Now taking this color right here with an angled vintage cosmetics brush, smoke it out towards the outer corner of my eye. Finally, taking a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm going to go ahead and leak these down below. I'm going to pick up this burgundy mauve undertoned shade. This really, really stunning shade. It's really pigmented too, so I'm just going to go ahead and work it again um, into the outer part of my crease. You want to use a very light hand for this part because it is going to build up on you. So just make sure you kind of, you know, flick your hand, flick your wrist while you're applying this shadow. I totally said this was like a mauve shade, but it's like a plum. Let me change that. It's like a plum um, undertone shade. Taking my Too Faced glitter glue, I'm going to go ahead and apply some to prep my eyes for the glitter that we are going to be using today. Doing it all night, all 
Today's glitter is going to be the eye candy glitter in the shade Jelly Bean. It's a really pretty purple. I'm going to be taking some onto the cap and applying that onto the glitter glue using my Morphe M124. So it's just a flat brush. And then I like to go ahead and go back in with a little bit more of that plum eyeshadow just to kind of help everything come together. To prep my lashes for falsies, I'm going to be curling my lashes using this Tarte um, eyelash curler. And then going in with my Milani Lash Trifecta Mascara. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Vintage Cosmetics eyeliner pencil. You guys know this is my absolute favorite eyeliner, so I'm going to be going in with that. And then for falsies, I'm going to be going in with the Coco Lashes in the style L. So they just look like this. So for primer, I'm going to be going in with the Physicians Formula Rosé All Day Oil Free Serum. Just looks like this. It is so, so, so good. It was only about $13 at Ulta. It has a little dropper as an applicator, which I really, really love. Um, it smells really, really good. So I highly recommend it. I just got this about last week, and I'm already so in love with it. So taking that, I'm just going to drop. A few on my face. And I just kind of blend it in with my fingers. I'm going to make sure that's all moisturized into my skin. Going in with foundation, you guys already know my two favorites at the moment to mix are the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation and the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. So I normally just take about two pumps of each now taking my morphe contour and highlight sponge i'm going to be taking my smashbox photo ready primer water and i'm going to spray that onto my sponge just to be able to blend it a little more um smoothly so i'm going to go ahead and blend that in so for concealer I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I love this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use that to conceal under my eyes, on my chin, um, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my cupid's bow. For the contour on my nose, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Makeup Contour Stick in the shade Where's Walnuts. This Vintage Cosmetics Flat Brush and picking up some of the product to precisely slim down my nose just a little bit. And then to blend it out even more, I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild flat brush and using that to drag the product down to the sides of my nose. Once that is done, going back in with my Morphe sponge and my primer water, I'm going to be blending in all of my concealer. So 
my camera died, of course, right in the middle of blending my concealer. So I went ahead and just finished blending out my concealer and then I baked using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. Um, it baked really, really nice um, in my opinion. Um, what I did was I just let it sit a little longer underneath my eyes and wherever I put my concealer. And then I took a fluffy brush and I just kind of like slapped it onto my face. Let it sit for a little bit. So now we're ready for bronzer. I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. Um, I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush to apply this. Then to bake, I'm going to be taking the same setting powder by Makeup Revolution, taking a small beauty sponge. I'm going to go ahead and apply that underneath where I contoured my cheekbones. So letting that sit for a little bit, we're going to go in with blush. So taking my blush brush by Luxie. This is the 514 blush brush. I'm taking my Milani Cosmetics Berry Rays Color Harmony blush. This looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Now for the eyeshadow on the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my palette and taking this plum shade right here on a pencil brush by Morphe, I'm going to go ahead and drag that on my lower lash line. And now for lower lash mascara, I'm going to be going back in with that Milani mascara and applying that to my lashes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dust off that bake. And for inner corner, I'm going to be taking this little mini pencil brush by Morphe and spraying it with my Smashbox primer water. And I'm going to be taking the Jouer Powder Highlighter in Topaz. And I'm just going to be using that as my inner corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face once with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then going in with that Jouer highlighter and using my Morphe E61 highlight brush. Now for lips, I'm going to be lining my lips using the, I don't know how to pronounce this, the Ses Moi It's Me lip pencil. Looks like this. And then I'm going to be topping it with the Dose of Colors Let's Cuddle. And then to top all of it off, I'm going to be going in with my I Love Sarai Times Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in Atole. So it's just a really pretty peachy gloss.
And then to finish it all off, you want to go ahead and spray one more time using your setting spray. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And comment down below on what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to take pictures if you recreate this look. And tag me in it. All of my social media. Link down below. With that being said, I will catch you guys next time. Bye. So for concealer. Oh. Camera's gonna die. I literally feel like I'm filming like the five minute makeup challenge or something. Yeah. Just dropped my brush. Dude, I think I put too much on this eye.